am absolutely wrecked today. I'm just praying a little bit more luck. We're headed to Ohio. I don't want to jinx myself, but may maybe everything will go great. We're not off to the best start. My door, my dr are you kidding me? Letter prime, letter prime. Cold startup, LM, nope. Easy, baby. We're headed off to Columbus, Ohio. Six hours, nine minutes, 406 miles. Chernenberg, baby, Chernenberg. We got you, boy. She sounds healthy, but think I doubt it. This LM, full send Ohio, baby. And yes, the LM still thinks it's out of gas, even though I just filled up. And welcome here to West Virginia. Memorize that number, affordable towing and repair. 304-763-4000, 304-763-4000. I might need him in about five minutes. It is absolutely gorgeous out here in the mountains of West Virginia. What in the world is actually going on? What? <laughs> Look at that. Welcome here to the beautiful state of Ohio. The LM is absolutely crushing it. The key indicator, the key detail that basically every single internal combustion engine needs, it needs something to burn. It needs fuel. We still got about 100 miles to Columbus, but goodness, the LM, no big deal. You gotta admit, we look good. Now I'm just guessing, more than likely, you know exactly why we're in Columbus. Obviously, we're gonna go see the boys off at Triple F. We are going hypercar shopping today. So I've officially narrowed the hypercar choice down to five cars. We got the Loft, we got the P1, the 918, we got the Koenigsegg Regera, and of course the Bugatti Chiron. I'm gonna post a photo of each car on my Vero. I want you guys to go on there, and I want you guys to vote. Tell me what you think. Like on the photos, comment on the photos, narrow it down for me, because if there's one of the cars you don't really wanna see, I don't want to get that car, but if there's the one car you really, really, really want to see, and I think I kind of, I kind of know which two it is, but I want you guys to go on Vero, and I want you guys to vote, and yes, today's video has been sponsored by Vero. I've been posting a ton of car content on my Vero, and it is blowing up. We're almost at 40,000 followers. Check out the link in the description below. Download Vero for free. There's no ads, there's no algorithm, and give me a follow. My username is at the Stradman. Now, I've been posting a ton of car content, behind the scenes content, even this exact trip in the LM002, crossing into West Virginia, or the spec on my Lotus Mirror, you can see the Seneca Blue got 3,800 likes and over 1,500 comments. The Vivid Red was so close, but the final spec on the Amira is gonna be the Seneca Blue. There's just so much amazing car content on here. If you click the hashtag cars, you can see I'm not the only one posting on Vero. Like the car community is blowing up. And it's not just 100% car content. For example, what is my favorite restaurant? You guys know I absolutely love Mobetas. Or on a road trip like this, what kind of music do I like to listen to? When I'm looking at buying a certain car, I love getting your guys' feedback. Now there's a ton of other crazy car content creators joining Vero. I'm gonna be posting a sneak preview photo of my full carbon fiber Aventador on Vero as soon as this video goes live, as well as the five hyper cars I'm looking at buying. Go on there, go vote, let me know what you think. Download Vero for free and I'll see ya on Vero. Now this is how you do it. This is the kind of gate that I need in my house. Welcome to the sanctuary. The landscaping here is always mind blowing. Now that I have grass, like I have moved up in the world. I got grass now. I respect the grass. I respect the pavers. The landscaping here is absolutely gorgeous. All the masonry work on this place. This is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous compound. I got to give a special shout out to Jordan from Triple F. <laughs> finally showing up. I've come to visit so many times. This guy's in Chicago, he's in Philadelphia, he's in Miami. Jason's old reliable, always here. I'm always here for James. Listen, yeah. you called and you wanted to come Monday, Tuesday, right? Right. I never go anywhere, I'm in Chicago. This would've been the third appearance in a row that it's like I'm not in town and Strad's coming. I was like kind of pissed about it. Well, honestly. thank goodness I ran out of gas in my LM. I am. My LM catches on fire. If that didn't happen, it's crazy how things work out. Now I'm here with triple, hey Bryce, 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 get over here, bro. Get over here. <laughs> I have a question. Question for you, Bryce. Okay, what's up? I'm trying to decide Koenigsegg Regera, McLaren P1, Porsche 920 Spider, Bugatti Chiron, okay. or La Ferrari. What are you going with? One car. One car. Come on, Bryce. Mm. That's on it, the spot. It's, it's definitely the P1. The P1. That's Jason, with, Jason. P1. I'm going Chiron. Okay, where in the La Ferrari <laughs> should I love that? Right there, okay, so you got Chiron, got P1. You guys have owned all five cars. We have. You are a connoisseur of fine automobilia. That's what you one want One car, call. one car. You sold the Regera, you sold the 918, you still got the P1, the Chiron, the La Ferrari. I'm doing P1. The P1's always been my personal favorite. It's the car that I never thought that I'd be able to get. And as luck would have it, I have the keys to it and I'm driving it today right now. Well, I want you to test it because you know, we don't, you don't know what car you want. So we have kind of all, all the examples here. So take a few out, test drive them, see what you want. Welcome to Triple F. It's always a good day 
when it's a P1 kind of day. It's crazy how 15 seconds ago I was driving this driveway in a Lamborghini LM002, an actual tank for the street, and I'm in an alien spaceship, the McLaren P1. A couple years back, I came so close to buying a P1, I went Veyron, and I'm not gonna say that I regretted it, but I've always wanted to own a P1. It's one of the coolest cars in the world. There's 375 of them in the world. Currently rocking race mode right now because the car looks way, 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 way better in person, but that means traction control's been turned off. We have 903 horsepower on a car that I don't own that's worth about, I don't know, two and a half, three million dollars. It's a full carbon P1. So obviously, we gotta warm the tires up ever so slightly. Oh, 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 little shake back, baby! <laughs> oh my gosh, I haven't driven a P1 in a while. This thing, this look it. Yeah, I should have wore deodorant today. So P1s are trading for right around $1.7 million. When I almost bought one about three years ago, I had a deal in place for one for $950,000. So in the last three years, they have basically doubled in value. So crazy seeing this remock on the street. I don't think the camera is doing justice to that color. The fastest car in the world. I want to say zero to 60, 1.8 seconds maybe, give or take. All I know is they raced that against a plaid and they absolutely left the plaid in the dust. Oh. <laughs> I, I had a Joe to be one in such a long time. What? This thing is crazy. Rumac is looking so good on the road though. Ah, uh, P1, the greatest of all time, you might reckon. Bye-bye. <laughs> I got an LM. I'll give you an LM. I'll make you a deal. Okay, LM straight up for this. Straight up. Whoa, yeah, yeah. I was going to throw in some cash, but yeah, let's go straight up. Bro, this car is insane. I've driven it. It's the best. Like you said, it's the best. It is one of the best feeling cars. There's something about McLaren from that 2015. Right, yeah, yeah. I was saying that. The 675LT and the P1, right. those are the cars. They feel very similar. Now, yes. the 720 is great and stuff, but it's a different feel. This is my favorite feel of any car. I look at it. It looks, this car is 10 years old, and especially next to the Maybach, right. it looks so small. But look at that. Like, just sitting here in a parking lot. It's by far and away the best looking of the Holy Trinity, right? Can we agree on that? 100%, 100%, 100% right? Bryce, 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 Bryce. Uh, Don't point that out. Sorry, That's from Jason. You, no, that Remac, like leaves are shooting up everywhere. You tested on the LaFerrari? Oh, he's, he's saying that that looks better than the lap. Gosh, it's close. It's close. So we're doing this switch right now. I'm giving you the P1 key. Thank you. And I'm driving the car from Croatia, the Nevera, the fastest car in the world. I don't, I don't think I'm really qualified, but you know what? Sometimes in life, you never say no. Every time I come to Triple F, I'm always put in situations like this. It's time to go. I get thrown in a new car. I've never driven one of these cars. The P1 might be the most beautifully designed car in the entire world. Bro, you look beautiful. You look pretty good yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That full carbon, that car, it's 10 years old. That design is 10 years old. And then we got the 40 Pista as well. I am not going to be accelerating whatsoever because uh, this car is probably worth, what? Two million, three million? A little acceleration. Nothing crazy, it's so easy. The first time I'm ever driving a Remock, I'm going to Casco. We're take, we're going to Casco to get batteries for my Halloween costume. I know, very weird. okay, okay, what? Look at that thing. That car is so good on the road. It sounds so good. He is loosey goosey as well. That thing's rear wheel drive, but man, what a looker. What a look. Go, oh, what? <laughs> what? What? Yo. Okay. Wow. Uh, wow. That, you have to be here. What in the world? That was. That was. That was time travel. Like we teleported. What? One thing I love about the Triple F boys, we are legit daily driving these cars, running from errands to errands. I have never in my entire life experienced acceleration like that, bro. Bro, what? It's like teleportation. Dude, I saw you. Straight to get, Costco. You got a little bit squirrely in, in front of me. Did you get on it a little bit? Warp speed. I got it on. Yeah, I was in track, but that thing is insane. It's crazy. You right? go from point A to point B instantaneously. Instantly. Right. Unbelievable. Now I know why your back's hurting, bro. <laughs> right. Too much acceleration in the remock. You got to go have some more fun in it, though. Too you many really Okay, okay. You know what? I'm not going to say no to that. <laughs> Forget the many sizes. We're going full size, family pack style. If you're in Columbus, you better be there tonight. If you're not, well, it's too late because the video's already live. I hadn't been to Costco in probably three or four years, and the first time back, I drive the fastest car in the world, and we buy $2,500 worth of candy. One of the key indicators on what hypercar I buy is how practical it is. This is a very, very, very important metric as we try to decide what car to buy. The boys at Car and Driver, they don't do this. This is professional automotive journalism at its absolute finest. How many funhouse treats can fit in a P1? It's very, very, very critical that we buckle up the M&Ms. The last thing we want is M&Ms everywhere. You push this button right here, 
to start her up and then you rotate, park, reverse, neutral, drive. Power settings are over here. We're in range mode, sport mode, track mode. So perfectly proportioned in every single way. Look at that. Remock Nevera, Infinite. Oh, no, no, what? Canterbury is in the way. Get out of the way, Canterbury. Are you kidding? He's literally blocking me. Everywhere we go, there's traffic. There's traffic everywhere. This is zero to a very fast speed. And a Remock Nevera, go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. What in the world? What is that? There's one distinct reason that the speedometer is facing that way and the camera's facing this way because I like Ohio, but I wouldn't do well in Ohio State Prison. This car, there's nothing like it. Madi Remock, probably too sophisticated to watch my channel. If you are, sir, well done. Well done, mate. See what I did, Madi? Mate, no, anyway. As cool as this car is, it's still not an internal combustion engine, twin turbo V8 from Woking, the United Kingdom. The P1, cleaner than your church shoes. That car, though, is poetry in motion. Yep, yep, if you don't mind, let's wind it up. Wind it up, boys. I want you to pay attention to that gap because that gap is gone. As far as an entrance to the garage, this is about as cool as it gets. A full carbon Shiro Super Sport is just waiting for you. This combo right here is absolutely ridiculous. Basically, the two fastest cars in the entire world with a P1 just chilling in the back. I have, okay. I. I like that, that's a W16. This does not have a W16. I think it's safe to say, in the history of the world, nobody has ever gone from an LM002 to a Remock. Now the P1 is cool, but another option is of course the Bugatti Chiron, not a Chiron Super Sport in full carbon fiber, just I guess you would call a basic Chiron, if such a thing exists. You guys know how much I love Bugatti, so pricing on the Chiron is a little bit more than a P1. I wanna say a high mileage Chiron is probably about two point Maybe 2.6 to 2.9 million. I became so enamored with all the cars outside, I forgot to show you guys what is inside, of course, the Triple F garage in front and center. We have the Bugatti Veyron Vitesse, the Halloween spec, you might say. We got the matte black, the full carbon, and look at the orange interior. This car was once owned by Mr. Floyd Mayweather himself. I think most of you guys have probably seen this garage before, but if not, you might say Triple F kind of has a hankering for the color blue. This is their daily driver Bugatti Chiron. Now, if I was to go Chiron, I'd probably go with a spec kind of like this. We have the McLaren Speedtail. This is actually full exposed 1K carbon fiber. We have the Sabre, one of 15 in the world. We have the Beta Murcielago. We have the camera car, the Tesla Plaid. And of course we have the LaFerrari. Pagani Wyra BC. As far as specs, this might be the most beautiful spec all around car I've ever seen in my entire life. You have that plaid tartan interior and this candy apple red is absolutely gorgeous. You got the A12 GTS as well. It's so crazy to see the speed tail. That car is almost 17 feet long. Man, this garage is so cool. Also the echo in here, hello. It's not that bad. You got a couple inches on both sides. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Yes sir, good over here. Headed off to the Halloween car show. If you like Bugattis, if you like LM002s, you are in luck. Look at that trio. In the Veyron of the test, following the Chiron and the Super Sport right behind. Yep, a Veyron Vitesse. Maybe I should forget the Chiron. I could go Vitesse, I could go with Veyron. I don't think I would actually go with a Veyron Vitesse because I already had a Veyron, but this car is nine day difference compared to my Veyron. It's got so much more power, the roof's caught off, the turbos are so much more lively, and the spec, you got all the carbon, all the orange accents, the carbon there in the center. <laughs> yes sir, yes sir. I can listen to the turbos in this car forever. Like literally forever. It is the greatest sound out of the world. We have the Chiron Super Sport. Look, so crazy full carbon. Look at that thing. Massive shout out to the homies at Triple F. Guys, if you don't follow Triple F, I'm gonna put a link to their YouTube channel in the description below. Go subscribe to their channel. They are absolute legends. When the whole squad makes a wrong turn and you all have to flip around, not the worst thing in the world. Come on, Bryce. Da, da, da. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are we good? We're good, we're good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I still gotta get my costume on. I gotta have to put my costume on. I was supposed to go under the radar. Oh, um, 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 um. We do not want to scrape. No, I want to scrape. Let's go, baby. Oh, what? Look at that fit. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes, let's go. It's all right, bro. It's all right, all right. Wow, I never win. Thank you to everybody who came out. We are now in the Chiron. 
driving this car, there's such a sense of occasion to it. Oh yeah, it's got 1500 horsepower, what? Okay, wow, I was on the P1 bandwagon, but now, listen to the turbos of this car. The blow off is absolutely ridiculous. Pop it into sport mode. Wait for it, let that test get some room. Oh my goodness, we got the super sport right there. What in the world? Yes, yes, me. trying to figure out P1 or Shear, and I drove both cars, and honestly, the decision isn't any easier whatsoever. The Bugatti, it's such an event, it's such an occasion, whereas the P1 is like a little track day weapon, it's a little go-kart. I'd say the P1 is more beautiful, but the Shear, it's a Bugatti, it's a Bugatti! And last, but of course, certainly not the least, the Shear on Supersport. Not a bad Thursday night. Not a bad Thursday night. What a crazy day with the boys from Triple F. Always a good time here in Ohio. I'm not entirely sure if today actually helped or hindered the process. Driving the P1 and the Chiron on the same day was very helpful though. Gives you a really good idea of what the cars are all about. Both are incredible cars. Chiron on average, let's say three million to make it easy. P1, let's say two million to make it easy. So a Chiron is a million dollars more than a P1. Had a Veyron. The maintenance on a P1 is a lot more expensive, a lot scarier. Obviously the battery issue is very, very scary. But if I had to pick between the two, I think I mean, I think I'd go P1, right? I mean, the Chiron's an amazing car, but I had a Veyron. I think I'd go P1. Today's video is over. It is absolutely dumping here in Columbus. So I'm actually dropping off the LM at Evans Automotive Repair. I'm gonna fly back to Utah for SEMA, and then we'll fly back in two weeks to grab the LM.